Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate. This is a channel where we're going to kick your Excel skills into a higher gear. So please remember to click this little subscribe button down below for more Excel awesomeness. Alright guys, in this week's episode I'm going to bring to you pop-up calendars. Quite exciting stuff. So I've programmed my pop-up calendar to pop up once I hover over B1 or click on B1. So you can program uh, anywhere in your spreadsheet where the pop-up calendar needs to pop up and I'm going to show you exactly how. So if I click on B1, this very nice pop-up calendar is going to pop up and it's going to by default show today's date. And you can also go into future dates here, future months, and you can also go into uh, past months as well. So what also nice functionality that's added into this pop-up calendar is you can change the color of the of the pop-up calendar. So clicking on this little gear icon here, if you want the nice orange, you can go for orange. And if you go back into your pop-up calendar, it will show orange. And I like by default the little blue here. And I'm also just going to choose the 29th of September. So also you can, a quick shortcut for you guys as well. If you click on B1 here and you want to change the formatting, you can just hit Control, Shift and Free. And if you see, that's a nice formatting shortcut to change it to 29 and it reads the free month, free uh, digit month and then the the year as well so this is very nice so let's get into this one so i'm going to close off my file that i'm working on here and in the descriptions below i want you guys to go fetch the data file that i've left for you so it's the pop-up calendar data file so this is the data that you're going to use for your pop-up calendar so i'm not going to update anything here so basically there's a few nice lines of code here or uh, functions which is very nice you can go through it into your time but that's not the purpose of this tutorial i just want to have you the data in your spreadsheet so the first step here is we're going to create a new sheet so sheet one easy enough so in a1 we're going to say date input and in b1 we're going to leave blank and i'm just going to give it a border here as well so a1's got a border and b1's got a border so step two is go grab cheat sheet number one that I've left for you down below. So I'm going to quickly grab that. So here I've got cheat sheet one pop-up calendar. And I'm just going to left click on the first digit here and I'm going to hit control A to select everything. Control C to copy. And I'm going to go back into my spreadsheet here. So we're going to go into our developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab open yet, descriptions above for my first video to explain exactly how to get this developer tab. And for you guys that already has the developer tab, let's go straight into the Visual Basic interface. So Visual Basic. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a module. So I'm going to right click here under my VBA project, insert a module. I'm going to rename this module. So module one, I'm going to rename to read uh, pop up underscore calendar there we go and I'm just going to left click here on the space for coding and I'm going to say control V because we already pasted or copied it from our first cheat sheet step two is we're going to double click on sheet one here so you'll see sheet one there at the top side double click and then we're going to go to uh, sheet sheet number two so cheat sheet number two in the descriptions below as well i'm going to open up my cheat sheet here few lines of code i'm going to need control a control c to copy and then we can go back into our visual basic interface here make sure we've got sheet one here highlighted and we say control v so that's it so that's the only code that we need for this pop-up calendar i'm just going to test it out and show you guys some extra functionalities as well. So I'm going to close it off and let's test it. So now the macro runs in this sheet here. So once I click on B1, there we go. That's it. The, the, the pop-up popped up nicely. If you don't like the color, you can click on the gear, go to the blue color, go out. And once you go back in, here you go. You can click on it and just to show you guys it works. Remember that shortcut in B1, you can hit control shift and free and it will change the formatting as well so let's say we want the pop-up calendar to show up anywhere else in our spreadsheet so i'm going to use a random example we want d3 to show up as a 
pop-up calendar in this spreadsheet as well. So we're going to go back to our developer tab, back into the Visual Basic. So in sheet one, there we go, in sheet one, you'll see the second last code. We've got a range here. It shows B1. So if you want to change it to another cell as well, you say comma, and we select the D3. So I added D3 in this line of code here. So you're going to go back out. And if I'm going to hit D3 now, it's going to read the code and it's going to pop up the calendar as well. So let's say you put in extra sheets. So let's say there's a sheet 2 here now and you want to pop it up in this extra sheet. Go back to the Visual Basic. You can highlight all the code here in sheet 1. Control C. Go back to sheet 2 That's or sheet 3. That was my new sheet that I've added. Control V and select where it needs to pop up. So let's say in sheet two, once I hit a two, I want to pop up to come out. So let's test that. So I've added my new sheet. Once I've hit sheet a two, there we go. Pop up calendar, you select it, and there we go. And remember that little shortcut control, shift and free will show you the date. Guys, that was being awesome. So thank you very much for tuning in for the pop-up calendar demo or tutorial. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. And leave me a comment if you have any ideas for another tutorials. From me, Stone and Accelerate, cheers.